Don't ask why, but doors in Counter-Strike Source and Half-Life 2 are much larger than those in real life. I mean, look at that. It's like twice the size of a person. Of course, there are some which are slightly smaller. Uh, yeah, you just have to mess around with the textures until you get it right. This one here is 56 by 112, and it doesn't matter how thick it is. I've used the thickness of 8. And this one is 64 across and 128 up. And 8 thickness as well, which might be slightly too much. Might set it to 4 instead. Anyway, now that you've drawn your door and put it in the level where you want it to be, you select it and press Control T. It'll come up with this, Object Properties. If you want the doors to rotate like the ones in your house, you choose Funk underscore Door underscore Rotating. If you want it to be a door which slides, just make it a Funk underscore Door. Now I'm going to start with the Funk underscore Door underscore Rotating. Once you've made it this, all you have to do is to set the point where it rotates around. As you can see from here, this is the door from the top. Once you select it, you'll see this white dot in the middle. This is where it rotates around, so I'm going to move it to the corner so it's equal distance away from both sides of the door and the end of the door. So it will rotate around that point and the door will go like that, out like that. So it'll end up looking like this. Anyway, that's it. It's done. If you want to change the options and stuff, you just go to the flags, choose the things, one-way door, that could be a bit of fun. Touch opens, um, yeah, mess around with the speed, uh, but it should just work without changing anything. So that's a door underscore rotating. Next up, I'm going to do a sliding door. Now for this, I'm going to make it stick out of the wall slightly, otherwise it will go through the wall when it opens. So here's the door, make it a bit thinner. I'm going to select it, well, control T. I'm going to make it a funk underscore door. Once you've selected that, all you have to do is to change the direction it moves in to the one you want it to slide in. If you want it to slide to the right, then you change the direction it moves to down. So it'll move in the direction that you choose it to point in. So it'll slide down like this. If you choose it to go up, then it'll slide that way. And that's pretty much it. Once you've chosen the direction it moves, you just change the speed to whatever you want it to be. Hundreds normally okay. Touch opens, yeah, it should be fine. Have fun making doors. I'm going to upload this example VMF so you can see how I've done the two different doors and hopefully it will help you to make doors in your levels. If you want to make a button that opens the door, you just make it the same as before. So here's a funk underscore door, and in the flags, you disable touch opens. There, so that means that it can't be opened by walking into it. And now you give it a name. I'm going to call this one James. Uh, you make a button object, so here's a block, select it, Control T, funk underscore button. You go to the outputs of the button, add, on pressed, make James. You can either choose it to open or to toggle. Uh, I'll just do open. If you want it so that the door doesn't go back to a closed state after a while, I'm just going to select the door again. Look down the options. I haven't actually done this before. Delay before reset, that's it. Set that to minus one. That means that, that once the door's open, it will never close again. You can then set the button to toggle, so you can press the button and it'll open the door, then close it. I'll put that in the VMF for you to watch as well. And that's all you need to know about doors. If you want to make it more fun, where you kill people by closing them, you can force closed, so it'll close no matter what's in the way. If that doesn't kill the people and instead they just get stuck in the wall, Put a trigger hurt on the end of the door and set its parent to the door so that 
if the person walks into the end of the door, they die. But make sure that they don't die under normal circumstances. So possibly make the trigger hurt inside the door. So only if they're actually stuck inside the door, it kills them. Which is kind of putting them out of their misery, so it doesn't matter. So there you go. Doors. I'm going to stop now. Have fun.